For me, it's not a whole lot about killing birds, man. It's about the fun time with friends, man. I, I don't, I've never laughed as hard as I've ever laughed in the cornfield. But uh, this year, we've uh, kind of taken our group to a whole new level as far as um, just really trying to take it uh, beyond just uh, hunting in the field. You know, we got um, sponsorship now and a uh, Facebook page. And we uh, try to get as many people to like us as possible, but... You know, it's all about us just uh, remaining, keeping those friendships intact and um, having as good a time as we possibly can in the field. Hey! been thinking about for a long time you know waterfowl millionaires and he's like well we definitely got the waterfowl down but what's mil millionaires stand for and basically I mean in our eyes for as young as we are I mean we're all 25 26 and I mean for our age to have what we have here I mean property friend decoy I mean we are millionaires in our own little world, I mean. Well, we had Dead Oak come in. We uh, got a phone call from, actually a text message from uh, Max from Dead Oak, and he uh, was gonna come visit Scott from Critter Dunn and do a uh, coyote hunt up there in Kansas and decided we are gonna take him on a goose hunt here and uh, they came and got a hotel room, uh, stayed at my place here for one night. We had a good time, had some good dinner and whatnot. We've got four or five geese down now, and it's later in the season. The weather's been really weird. Um, it was warm all week, 50s, mid-50s, lower 60s one day even, and then now today it's dropped down to 25, 22, and then lows are down to like 18 again, and Water's been freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing over and over, and it's been a, it's been a mess. But they are a good time, and we've still been able to hang out and do some cool stuff with them. My first rifle was a two forty-three. The papa gave daddy, and daddy gave to me. And they taught me how to shoot with a steady hand. Guess that's something you don't understand Now I grew up on a prison farm Sneaking pools of shine from a mason jar Used to go fishing out Pickle Creek down But I guess that's something you don't understand Grandma we headed down to Kansas. Uh, you know, Scott Sheriff of Critter Dunn Game Calls. He's been, he was our first real sponsor, and and you know, he's given us all of his support and everything. You know, we call Scott. We're like, hey, we're sorry, we can't can't get the footage that we had promised. He's like, you know what, guys, it's all right. You're trying hard. And, uh, I want to say he's been one of our number one supporters and, and he's just helped us out tremendously and we can't thank him enough but we decided to go down to Kansas and hunt with him and, and meet him and you know spend the weekend with him and just have a good time so we uh, we left on Wednesday night drove down to Macomb uh, stopped halfway 
stayed with a buddy and then Thursday morning we cruised down to Kansas and got lost a little bit but we ended up finding our way so we showed up to Scott's house and Scott came out and introduced himself and he was talking about how he, you know he'd been sick and he'd been laid up on the couch and the doctor said he wasn't supposed to be out so we're like oh come on Scott you know we just came from Illinois so how about you come hunting with us so we got all the gear on and stuff and uh, ended up dragging Scott out to do some coyote hunting and you know that whole trip we we did quite a bit of coyote hunting when we were in Kansas staying with Scott and you know we weren't successful but we had a blast walking around checking out the environment and, and you know helping Scott pull some stands down and Scott was just telling us all kinds of stories and showing us around and uh, I just want to thank Scott personally for all the hospitality him and his family had for us and uh, everything he's done for us and we look forward to having a long relationship with Curry on Game Calls. Trip was a riot. We had uh, an absolute blast down there. Uh, got along great with the Waterfowl Millionaires. Scott's one heck of a guy. And uh, we got to see uh, him, we got to see his, his place where he works, where he lives. Um, he showed us around Kansas. Uh, it's a whole different style of hunting down there. But uh, we picked it up pretty quick. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get any coyotes called in. Uh, ended up goose hunting one night, got one goose, and uh, had a blast, and then went to Missouri with the Waterfall Millionaires. Ended up putting, I think, five geese on the ground in two days, so had a blast with them. I guess it's something you don't understand. My first rifle was a two four to three. Police department, put the gun down and come to the door. And Papa gave daddy and daddy gave to me. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to Ricky Woods with bluesportsoutdoors.com. Um, he's, he started this thing called bluesportsoutdoors.com and it's for the prevention of child abuse. So um, if all of our fans, friends, and followers would please take a moment and go to his website and uh, check it out and help support him. That'd be great.